you may know that Selenium WebDriver is not able to speak to a web browser directly. For that, we need browser drivers such as Chrome Driver or Firefox Driver. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a driver manager to help us keep track of all these different drivers. You're watching Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. Before showing you the benefits of using a driver manager, let me walk you through how things used to be done. Suppose that we had some tests that we wanted to run against the Chrome browser. We would go to the internet and look for the Chrome driver. And then we would need to download the executable file here. We would then place this file in some location in our system. In this case, I'm using the C drive automation slash drivers. And this drivers folder will contain all the different drivers for each of the browsers that I wanted to use. In this case, I have Chrome as well as Firefox, which is this Gecko driver here. And then we would go to our tests. And within our tests, we would have to specify something like this. We would say system that set property and we would say what driver we wanted to use followed by the path of where that driver is located in the intro to selenium web driver video series we actually skipped this step and instead we specified the location of the drivers in the system's path variable as shown here but what i'm going to show you next is how we can avoid having to set a system variable or a system property and use a driver manager instead so let's go ahead and comment this out and what we need to do is go to the web and type github.com forward slash Boney Garcia forward slash web driver manager. And then we're going to scroll down to look for the Maven dependency. And this is it right here. So let's go ahead and copy this and go to our project. And then we're going to navigate to the palm file. In the palm file, we're going to add a new dependency here. Now we need to refresh our project by clicking here. Once that is set up, we can go back to the method that takes care of setting up the driver. And here we're going to say web driver manager dot and notice that we're not getting any intellisense yet so what we're going to do is we're going to click here and hit alt enter on the keyboard and then we're going to select add library and make sure that it matches web driver manager and after we do that once again we're going to hit alt enter and we're going to select import class now we can use the dot operator say dot chrome driver and then dot setup and that is all we need to do to set up the chrome driver no longer do we need to download the driver itself and store it in some location in our system this simple command here will take care of that for us the same thing goes for firefox or edge or safari you no longer need to download each individual driver and the way that this web driver manager works is that it checks the version of the browser you have installed on your machine it then tries to match the driver and the browser versions as I mentioned earlier, one of the main advantages of this web driver manager is that we no longer need to download the drivers. Another advantage is that as your browser gets automatically updated, the driver will also get automatically updated. But let's say for instance that you want to use a specific driver version. That's easy to do. All you need to do is say web driver manager dot, and in our case we're using Chrome driver, and then we say dot driver version. And here we can specify the version of the driver that we want to use. So just this one. And then we say dot setup. And this will make sure that we're always using the same driver version. I hope you can see the great benefit of using a web driver manager. Thank you, Boney Garcia, for creating this awesome tool. Please visit the link in the video description to learn more.